The magnetic susceptibility balance is used to determine the magnetic properties of a compound. So first, we turn on the range knob to the 1x dial here, and you're going to let it warm up for 10 minutes. Then you're going to adjust the zero knob to zero the machine when no tube is inside the tube guide. You are going to place the empty tube in the tube guide and record the reading, which would be R0. Then you're going to remove the empty tube and weigh it carefully on a balance to the nearest milligram and record the mass of the empty tube in grams. You're going to put your sample in the pre-weighed tube and you're going to tap it on the counter until it is compact. To put the compound in the tube, we are, we, there's two methods that you can use. We can use the scoopable end of the spatula here and gather some of the sample. Putting the sample into the tube, you can uh, scoop it up on this little spatula here and pour it in this way. Or you can use it as a, like you would a capillary tube to, for melt temp and you can put the end into the sample vial and collect the sample that way. Every time you add sample into the um, vial here, we want to uh, tap it down to compress it. And at the end you should have about 3.5 centimeters of product into the tube. Before you put the vial into the balance, you want to wipe it off with a Kim wipe to ensure that there is no product on the outside of the tube. You then want to place the packed tube into the uh, balance and take the initial reading. You are going to remove the tube once you have the initial reading and you're going to compact it against the bench until it is more compact and then you are going to insert the tube back into the balance to make sure that you have the same reading. Once you have the same reading once you can go on to the next step. So here we can see that the balance is reading 979 or 7879. So we're going to remove it and try it again. So here you can see we have two of the same readings. Once you have two of the same readings, you are going to take the tube out of the balance and you're going to measure it with a ruler to determine the height of the sample in the tube. Then we are going to look at uh, the thermometer there and record the temperature of the room. From there you're going to immediately measure the mass of the packed tube on a balance and record its mass in grams. To find the actual mass of the sample in the packed tube, you're going to subtract the initial mass of the empty tube that we gathered at the beginning of the experiment. From there, you're going to put this sample back into the tube by emptying it on a piece of whey paper that is folded in half. When removing the sample from this uh, tube here, we want to make sure that you tap it gently as they are made of glass and we do not want them to break. From there, we're just going to pour the uh, sample back into the sample vial here. From there, you want to clean everything that was used uh, in this experiment, and then you can finish your calculations to determine the magnetic moment of the compound. Mm -hmm.